cookies. I can't believe it. It's the Blue Falcon! And Dynamite Dog Wonder. Better think twice, dirtbag. If you have nerve endings in pain centers like any other perp. Let's make this dragon scream. Whatever you say, BF. of a mass vigilante. Velma, he's a superhero with a belt full of traps. The girl be bound and the sanctified face in half the time. Don't even breathe. There are 17 methods to incapacitate you, and all of them hurt. We're not bad guys, Mr. Falcon. We're Mystery Incorporated. Corporate greed is another symptom of a society rotting from the inside out. You're my hero. Yeah, like me and Scoob watch you guys on the news all the time. We solve mysteries and catch bad guys just like you. Are you an unstoppable, perfect crime-stopping machine? <laughs> no, he messes up all the time. In that case, put it there, pal. <laughs> what brings you to Crystal Cove, Blue Falcon? We've been tracking that dragon creature in hopes it would lead us to its evil master. Well, masked man, Crystal Cove is our turf. You want a mystery solved and a villain unmasked? You talk to us. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> hey, Blue Buddy. I like the smell of these kids. Why don't we let them tag along? Very well. But you should know that should I need to sacrifice any of you to get my prey, I'll gladly do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, little lady, but Burr Batson has nothing to do with the monster truck that's been haunting this track. <laughs> oh, yeah, that ghost driver's been smashing up cars pretty bad, knocking the best drivers out of the race. Heck, old champ Truman retired after what happened to him. But don't worry, Fred, that skeleton driver's not going after the amateurs. <laughs> Ladies. Shippers? Maybe it's too dangerous for you to race this weekend, Freddy. Like, yeah. The only race we should do is race the heck out of here. Oh, oh. Hang on, guys. I've been training for months. That trophy is mine. Well, then that means we have a mystery to solve. Oh, great. Not only do we have to deal with a spooky skeleton, but this one's got a driver's license. So where's our hotel? We're staying here, at the track. Because there's a hotel here I just can't see yet? Please? The Mystery Machine now sleeps five, thanks to a few modifications I made. Check it out, our new bedrooms. Whoops, wrong button. Hello, bedrooms. I meant to label these things, really. Well, it could be a wiring problem. See? Bedrooms for five, and everything goes back into place at the push of a button. Hmm, I wonder what that did. Let's not find out. Hi, kids. Are you big racing fans? Sure are. I'm Jimmy. I'm Cindy. We have our own car in the race. Well, our daddy does. And he taught me everything he knows. You'll all see, I'm gonna be the best racer ever. Well, not for a few years there. At least if you want to be able to touch the pedals. <laughs> Is that your dad over there, Jimmy? Yeah, that's him. Hello? 
He seems... focused. Very focused. <laughs> Imagine that! Jeepers, look! A flying gargoyle! It's got Shaggy and Scooby! We have to save them! Quick, catch that taxi! Hey, taxi! Stopez-vous les cabez-vous! Le signe à Paris ma pemone de taré! Excusez-moi, the monkey took your potato? Uh, he means follow that gargoyle. Oui, mademoiselle. <laughs> a ticklish monster! That's a first! <laughs> so long, old buddy, old pal! So long! <laughs> there they are! <laughs> oh my gosh! Look! Thelma's movie star is up there! He? Where? Right there! Pushing Shaggy and Scooby off the tower! We gotta hurry! <laughs> <laughs> hero of the subtitled cinema. I've read every one of your movies. Ah, merci, mon fan. Supermarket of the supernatural? Uniform. 
But what's tall, dark, and gruesome doing walking through the graveyard in the middle of the night? Being scary, and he's doing a great job. We need to see if Cyrus Buford is connected to those uncivil Civil War ghosts. Now let's split up and look for clues. Uh, Fred, I might have found a clue. Great, where is it? I hope you've got a plan, Freddy. Of course I do. You remind me of a man. was never the heart of the Jaguar. The heart of the Jaguar is something else, Scooby-Doo. At the right moment, when the heart is clear, you will know what to do. Seriously? Just tell me what to do. You will know. 
You will see. What is it with you and those stupid gadgets? Look, you don't complain when I make all that cool spy stuff for you. Anybody, especially nothing cat like. Uh, no, siree. Yikes! Scooby, you're supposed to jump in my arms like you always do when we see terrifying creatures. <laughs> it's only a kitty. I knew that. <laughs> data for Janet's project. This is classified. So what? I'm not scared of... What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Is that... I thought I asked you not to look at my research. Velma did it. I tried to stop her. What? It doesn't matter who did it. I told you that you were welcome to look around the lab, but my data was off limits. I don't believe in violence, but that doesn't mean I don't know how to give a mean wedgie. Ew. <laughs> Wait, wait, I can help you. I doubt that highly. Trust me, I found something. You brought us to a janitor's closet? Would you just look inside already? Jeepers, this looks like spy stuff. What would a janitor be doing with all this? Well, there was something strange about that janitor who banished up Captain Treesdale. She sure knew a lot about medicine. Looks like we better keep our eye on this mystery maintenance woman. If that shuttle doesn't launch, five years of Janet's research is down the drain. Maybe that's why someone came up with this whole alien scheme. But who could be behind it? Do you think Keith Dale might be hiding something? Or maybe our mystery janitor has a secret or two. I wouldn't put it past Elliot. Hey, like I've got another suspect for you! Him! <laughs> <laughs>
Where's Daphne? There's Daphne, the green blip. Oh, no. We've got to help her. One of those snowboard games. Look, there's another one right next to it. <laughs> like it's a good thing I didn't try and stick a quarter in him. Nightmares? They were warm, fuzzy dreams compared to this. I'm just glad he didn't decide to use us as toothpicks. Scooby, quit shaking like a Freddy dog. The clown will hear us. <laughs> hey, look! It's Cougar Forest! I knew it. I knew Cougar Forest was the monster clown. He has the perfect motive. He can't handle coming in second, so he thought he would scare the competition away. Or worse yet, eat the competition. What? Like you don't think I'm right? It's not that. I'm just very creeped out that you're making so much sense. So much for my theory. Uh-oh. I think it's time to make like trees and, uh, leave? Leave? <laughs> like, I think we can lose him at the pirate ship. We're at the end of the plank. Nice going, Shaggy. Hey, I'm new to this. <laughs> I've got an idea. Jump on three. One, two, three! Okay, stand still and try to blend in. Maybe he won't see us. He spotted us! Well, yeah. Any clown can tell you trees don't grow in a desert. Maybe if clowns read encyclopedias, which we know they don't. Wait, now's not the time to analyze. Now's the time to... Come on, gang, to the top of that hill. I've got a better idea. What? what kind of game is this? Why, it's a mystery-solving game. Really? That sounds fun. What kind of mysteries are there? Any kind you want. Jinkies! This is incredible! In virtual reality, I can program any setting, any mystery, any character. Excuse me, I believe that is my car. Sorry. And when you think you know who the culprit is, you say, I've solved this mystery! Wow, this is incredible! I'll bring the rest of the gang back here later. Thanks, Professor. You're welcome, Velma. And be careful out there. Guys, guys! You're never gonna believe Hello there, it. fellow Upper Earthians. My name is Penelope Powerheart. I rule these lands with honor and a mighty, mighty sword. All right, now grab a controller and step through to our alternate universe of major excitement. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Better Princess Powerheart, 
Won't thou join me on my quest for the mighty dragon cup of North Haven? I shall protect thee from the demons of Hammondshire. Wow, does he work here too? Sadly, no. Look, kid, I told you to get out of here. I am not a real princess. The evil spirits have overtaken your mind, but don't worry, I shall prove my mettle to thee. Post haste. That guy is like post crazy. <laughs> Dr. Ostwald! Ooh, I bet he's gonna show the sequel to his awesome Awesomeon game. Awesomeon? Yeah, it's a card game and a TV show and a video game and a line of bathtub products, and it's on now, the next generation of Awesomeon! <laughs> Oh man, Scoob, Awesomeon is like my favorite game ever. And now they're, they're... Real. Yeah, real. It's fun time. It's fight time. <laughs> Creatures aren't just real. <laughs> They're real bad. Talk about your violent video games. Come on, gang. Let's get out of here. What? You have to have your hand stamped if you want to come back in. I don't know, but I wish I was there, too. Oh, oh. oh, no! It's locked! There's no way out! All right, stand back. Dr. Ostwald, are we glad to see you. You have to tell us how to turn off the Asamon creatures. I'm sorry, Daphne, but you can't. No one can. I created them with self-sustaining energy cells. Really? Is it a carbon-based cell? Because I've been trying Not to... the time, Velma. I never programmed the Asamons to do this. Someone is obviously trying to sabotage my game. Kids, I need your help. You have to find out who is trying to ruin me. Well, gang? Just once she could smile. Kind of a coincidence that she'd appear out here in the lands of the demon legend. It's too hard to proceed any farther. Let's rest and resume walking after it cools off tonight. And cut. Very real. Very convincing. <sighs> and a good idea. Game called on account of demons. Uh oh. Hanging our things from vines. Great idea, Daphne. Something I remembered from Bonfire Girls. Keeps everything safe from mud, moisture, and soldier ants. Not to mention lions, leopards, and snakes. Oh, my. That's not what we have to worry about here. But for a place that's scarce on animals, it's odd there are so many bugs. <laughs> if there were this many bugs where I live, like, I'd be scarce, too. Yikes! The demons of the jungle are back! Everyone, split up!
if anyone asks whether demon animals are shape-shifting around this jungle, like I have the answer. I'm not so sure that's what's happening. Well, one thing I'm sure of is that we're lost in the middle of a huge, thick jungle. Excuse me, Captain. I thought you said we didn't have a map. Uh, I was saving it for an emergency. So, I guess this emergency tops all our other emergencies. WH-12. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Help us! Like thanks. Yeah, thanks. Looks like you guys have a guardian angel. Like two demolishing dragon sightings is too, too many. I've been cursed by a bad luck dragon. My shop and ring. Now my company. I've only got one store left. It could be in danger. Where is it? The mall at Victoria Peak, up the 800 foot escalator. Mall? But it's closed. Nobody's up there to watch my store. Come on, gang. We're going for an escalator ride. We're headed for the highest point in Hong Kong. Let us know when this thing lands. Couldn't we come back during the day? What could be creepier than a mall where you can't go shopping? <laughs> that could be creepier. Race you to the escalator. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, like, hi. We, we kind of expected this place to be closed. Then why are you here? Because of the attacks on Harold Ling. We're checking on his store. Harold Ling is my father. I'm Mei Ling. So that explains how you were at his company to save Shaggy and Scooby. It was my pleasure. Oops. Why the glittery masks and outfits? We perform for the New Year's festivities. This is my team and my partner, Wu. <laughs> Wu doesn't say much, but he's the best team leader in China. Oh, please don't let my father know we're practicing here. Why not? My dream was to travel with the acrobats all over the world, but my father insisted I stay here and take care of his store. Things have gone badly since Louis, his toy maker, was fired. Do you think he'd want to pay your father back for that? I hope not. I hope not, too. That's who made my old bathtub pal, Duck Guy. What a coincidence. Look, my bathtub pal, Duck Girl. Like who would think? Thousands of miles apart. <clears throat> Do you know where we'd find this, Louie? His workshop's somewhere in the warehouse district. WH-12. Hmm. That could be Warehouse 12. There's a dragon on the loose. It might be dangerous to stay here. <laughs> I'm not worried. Bye. Sh <laughs> Foul beast. I'll shoot you yet. Shoot it. Aren't dragons, like, endangered? I want to get a picture of her for next year's fair brochure. Attendance has doubled since that thing showed up. Something about this dragon business sure smells funny. Yeah. It smells like... Help! Help me! <clears throat> Are you okay, fella? I think I wrenched my shoulder. I was supposed to joust against James and Stephen Ripley tomorrow night. Now I'll have to forfeit. Forfeit? Nay, good squire. Forsooth, here's a worthy knight. Cool. Are you really up for this, Fred? Sure. I took a jousting class last summer at the Y. Besides, you don't use real lances. They're made out of paper mache. Thanks. Yeah! Girl, Ripley's horse from the Round Table Gang. Big deal. They filmed that stupid show down the road at Glassboro Studios. Shaggy, you've 
still got Fred's jousting rod. It looks like he found another one. They're using real lances. Uh, like, can we discuss this? Uh, I guess that's a no. Guys, those weapons are real. Dost thou imply that villainy is afoot? I dust. <laughs> I hate this dress. Imagine this getting any worse. <laughs> okay. Foul beast. I'll shoot you yet. Shoot it? Aren't dragons, like, endangered? I want to get a picture of her for next year's fair brochure. Attendance has doubled since that thing showed up. Something about this dragon business sure smells funny. Yeah. It smells like... Help! Help me! <clears throat> Are you okay, fella? I think I wrenched my shoulder. I was supposed to joust against James and Stephen Ripley tomorrow night. Now I'll have to forfeit. Forfeit? Nay, good squire. Forsooth, here's a worthy knight. Cool. <laughs> Really up for this, Fred? Sure. I took a jousting class last summer at the Y. Besides, you don't use real lances. They're made out of paper mache. Thanks. Yeah! Wow! That's Ruby Girl, Ripley's horse from the Round Table Gang. Big deal. They filmed that stupid show down the road at Glassboro Studios. You still got Fred's jousting rod. It looks like he found another one. They're using real lances. Uh, like, can we discuss this? Uh, I guess that's a no. Guys, those weapons are real. Dost thou imply that villainy is afoot? I dost. <laughs> I hate this dress. Imagine this getting any worse. Okay! Champion ski jumper Theodore Shushman's career was tragically cut short when he collided with a young man on a so-called snowboard. Hmm. He must have been pretty good. He's got more cups here than an all-night coffee shop. Jinkies. A skiing champion who lost his career to a snowboarder must be pretty bitter. Gazoo type! Jeepers, your sneezes are getting louder, Velma. That's not me. It came from outside. Nice! I'll tell you, that snowman is definitely not a jolly happy soul. Ah! Help! Monster! Avalanche Anderson! I'm telling you, Doc, it was made totally of ice and snow. Ow! That ankle's pretty tender. Uh, we, uh, can take you in for x-rays. What's the point? I'm out of the contest. That's all that matters. Will you kids leave me alone? 
I've got enough problems. With all the big names leaving, my sponsors are pulling out of the games. Please listen. Freddy's plan is brilliant. The way I see it, the creature is targeting professional boarders. That's why we need to stick a decoy into the competition. I think all this snow creature business is a lot of hoo-ha. But if it'll get you off my back, fine. Now, if you'll excuse me. There's something not quite right about that bossy billionaire. I don't get it, Fred. With your busted ankle, who's going to be the decoy? Yeah. Ooh. No way! Negatory! Not gonna happen! Come on, Shaggy. It's not like you really have to snowboard. All you have to do is fake it and wait for that creature to come after you. Here they come. Catch you later. So, you are the heavy hitter last minute entry we are hearing about. Oh. Yep, that's me, the invincible Shagonator. Hmm. So, you think you're invincible, Shagonator? <laughs> Shagonator certainly has an unorthodox style. Hey, I'm like, still alive! Very real, very convincing, <sighs> and a good idea. Game called on account of demons. Uh oh. Hanging our things from vines. Great idea, Daphne. Something I remembered from Bonfire Girls. Keeps everything safe from mud, moisture, and soldier ants. Not to mention lions, leopards, and snakes. Oh my. That's not what we have to worry about here. But for a place that's scarce on animals, it's odd there are so many bugs. <laughs> if there were this many bugs where I live, like, I'd be scarce too. Yikes! The demons of the jungle are back! Everyone, split up! whether demon animals are shape-shifting around this jungle like I have the answer. I'm not so sure that's what's happening. Well, one thing I'm sure of is that we're lost in the middle of a huge, thick jungle. Excuse me, Captain. I thought you said we didn't have a map. Uh, I was saving it for an emergency. So, I guess this emergency tops all our other emergencies. Why didn't you tell us you had it? Okay. It's a map of this side of the river. I have a claim to a secret uranium field on this land. 
You own uranium and you're still piloting a riverboat? One feeds the pocket? On a Friday night. Dear Mystery Incorporated, have you looked into the case of the missing sardine boat that disappeared off Dead Man's Point? I think it might have something to do with a haunted oil platform in the area. Signed, Anonymous. Jinkies! A mystery! Hello, Daphne? Velma? Just got a tip on our webpage. Apparently a sardine boat disappeared. What? Well, I guess it can wait. Yes, I know you're in love with Fred. Velma, I'm so in love. Scooby, Velma, put Shaggy on. Because you're almost impossible to understand on a phone. Shaggy, Velma, I've got a mystery for us. This boat disappeared. What do you mean you can't come? Dessert? But you can have jellied eyeball cobbler any... Hello? Hello? He hung up on me. They don't want to help me? Fine. I'll do it myself. I hope Daphne doesn't mind me borrowing her family's expensive boat. Great. It's gonna be impossible to find any clues in this fog. My song fills your heart from the depths of the sea. Please listen and learn all you can learn from me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, who's there? A friend, Velma. How do you know my name? I know much about you, Mr. Incorporated. For example, I know you struggle with being smarter than everyone. Think that you have a neck waddle, which is why you always wear a turtleneck. Or dumped by your boyfriend for a dog. Okay, you know me. I am the source of the anonymous tip that brought you out here. Merfolk have the internet? Wait, what am I saying? This is biologically impossible! Please, Velma, I have nowhere else to turn. I'm all alone. I think you can understand that. Crystal Cove is in danger. They're coming for me. Run, Velma, or they'll get you too! Wait, I don't even know your name! It's Amy. I'm a friend, Velma. You have to trust me! Of this. Put me down, you horrible girl! Not a chance, you nasty little monster. Move and the bird gets it. Hi, Dizzy! Back off! No one moves! You guys go! Do what you have to do! I've been trapped in that box long enough to hear everything Professor Creepy Bird has in mind. Find that entity and destroy it. I'll hold them off as long as I can. Go! Now! No, Marcy, I won't. I can't. You have to. The world needs you. Don't worry about me, V. I'll see you when this is over. One more move and I pluck this ugly little chicken. Oh! Mine! Mine! Stop! Heh. <laughs> <laughs> 
E, I guess I expected more from you. So did I, little girl. So did I. It's all in your hands now, Judy. <laughs> Silly child, we were springing impromptu traps before you were born. That's right, Brad. Thank you, Judy. Come on, Scooby. We have to keep going. Uh, the good one! Be careful! <gasps> Brad, don't hurt him! Ah! No! No! <laughs> you look terrible. You should get more sleep. <laughs> Never give up this disc. You'll never beat me. Oh. I don't need to beat you. I just need you to stay put. Get me out of this. He's the fake. They're like identical. Right down to the ascot! Which one's the real Fred? Allow me. Freddy, how do you feel about me? What do you mean? You're my love, Daphne. I'm crazy about you. And you? Uh, gosh. Gee, Daft, you know, I... Well, I guess aside from traps and solving mysteries, um... Er, my stomach's getting hurty. Oh, Freddy, it's you! Well, if you're so smart, then who am I really? You're one of the most heartless criminals Mystery Inc. has ever faced, aren't you, Dad? Ow! It's not a mask, you imbecile. I had plastic surgery to look like you. You would have spotted a mask too quickly. I don't know what you think you were doing. You're supposed to be my father. But how could you try to impersonate me when you know absolutely nothing about me? If he's Brad, that makes you Fred's sneaky criminal mom. Judy. Ouch! Watch it! I had plastic surgery, too. I know. <sighs> Yuck! <laughs> like you said it, bud. <laughs> now, dear, tell me about the light. They'd come to me over the years. I knew I'd been repeatedly probed, but I had no memory of it. Then one night... I was trapped in its creepy alien light. They took me to their ship and replaced the chip in my schnoz with something even bigger. Did they say anything? Aliens usually give away their odious intentions while their victim is helpless on the table. Well, they said, uh, they said my brain will keep the plan safe. What plans? 
The plans that will take them back home. The, the aliens need my brain! They're gonna steal my brain! Must not be very complicated plans. What was that? Look, the space cook is missing. No, it's not. I can think it's right over there. Uh, look out! Get her before she gets away! Aliens drive Winnebago's? Like I said, dear, they've been here a long, long time. They want my brain. You, you have to protect my brain. You'll be safe here tonight, Sheriff. You can room with me, you a side or back sleeper, because I've got this great body pillow you can borrow. I don't need some silly body pillow. But I am going to miss my footy PJs. While you guys are having your little sleepover, Scooby Shaggy and I have some investigating to do. Will you take Nova for the night? You're investigating without us? Yeah, there better not be a trap involved. Like no trap, just a hunch. Mom? Dad? I'm home! It's only me. No one else. Honey, come see my new toy. It's a car. In the dining room. I had to get rid of that flat wooden thing, of course. What's it called, love of my life? A table, darling. Oh, yeah, a table. Ah, oh, the Pangea looks much better here. It's named after an energy-efficient continent. I feel greener and more European already. Hello, Barty Blake here. Ah, oh, Mr. Blake. I was just checking on the delivery of your automobile. Did it perhaps arrive safely? Oh, it sure did. It's right here in my dining room. And what more perfect place could there be? Enjoy the car, sir. Such wonderful customer service. What do you mean I'm too short? How tall do you have to be to stand in a ball? Sorry, kid. Not as sorry as you're gonna be! Where are you going, Scoob? The ride's this way. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of, old buddy. <laughs> See? It's fun! <laughs> See, Scoob, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> sister. She's around here someplace. What's wrong? One of your rides almost made a salad out of me and my friends. Oh no, the roller coaster? So you know about him? Well, I... Ah! <laughs> this is Harry Harrison, crusading reporter for ThisRideStinks.com. I'm webcasting from the Thrill Rides theme park, talking to Chris about persistent rumors that the park is haunted. Chris? It's not haunted, you muckraking loser. How do you explain all the so-called accidents? We're very sorry about that. We're doing everything we can to make the ride safe. How do we know you aren't responsible? Wouldn't a big expose about a haunted park increase traffic on your website? Sure, blame the media. <laughs> Could run faster for a Scooby snack. Yeah. Two Scooby snacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. 